so right now there's a lot of stuff going on in the world a lot of people are coming to us with stuff going coming up in their lives in their relationships the emotions have been very intense right now there's a lot of physical stuff coming up in people's bodies a lot of old patterns and old behaviors and old issues coming up right now that people have an opportunity to work on so is there anybody that would like to share what they're going through right now with us and and we can have a discussion about it um, put up your hand <clears throat> yeah. alexandra i see your hand i see you jumping let's see <gasps> what have you got to say hi can hi, you hear me yeah. Hi, Alexander. Hi, I've been watching your videos and sharing your videos everywhere. I just love what you all are doing. Thank um, you. I really okay. enjoy this holistic practice. And um, one of the things that have been happening for me recently, and it's something that I think is coming to all human consciousness is about the uh, vagus nerve. Mm -hmm. And um, I found out that for myself, I started doing uh, one of the videos that was posted by you all for the vagus nerve. And I found out that for some reason, it, the vagus nerve is really has activated the dysfunction of my vagus nerve has activated armoring up of my trapezoid muscles. And I started talking about it with people and finding out that everywhere around me, people have this armored up trap trapezoid muscle. And, and so I noticed in this practice today that as we were doing some of the arm movements you were talking about the different uh stopping points i noticed that I, we we're getting closer and closer to this trapezoid muscle i noticed some release and i'm 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 wondering if there's like an even deeper more specific uh trapezoid muscle release that could also help my vagus nerve okay great question <clears throat> so Vagus nerve, and what you're actually feeling is that all of the meridians and go through this area, which is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve itself is the least important of them all. And I, <laughs> I say that tongue in cheek and lightly because it's important to our system, but all of these other things that are going through, the reason why we're having so much trap issues today is because uh, this area here is equal to this area here fascially. So it means your small intestine is, when your small intestine is dysregulated, you're going to feel it here both pressurally and also from the, from the fascial zone. So one of the things that you can do is come behind, you grab both hands like this, and you, you literally grab the traps. You guys wanna do it here? So you grab the, the traps as far down as you can, okay? You bring your chin to your chest slowly, and then slowly as you do this, you fold over as far as you can, tighten your spinal pavlov, block, and if you can, you squat all the way, and I like to squat as far as I can, get my head down there, just like any gravity, and keep pulling and pull my elbows to the floor as hard as I can and breathe. Breathe in. Two. Three. Now look up with your head. Again. Two. Three. Come on up. And you can add twists to that as well, but that'll open that up. So the primary reason why people are getting so disrupted up there is the small intestine also causes a lot of brain uh, fog or overactive brain as well. And mm -hmm. again, the nerves are secondary to the fascia. And quite often the nerves are disrupted because the fascia gets dehydrated. And if, if all the nerves, all the veins, everything goes through the fascia, so slight dehydration, means that nerve doesn't floss right, doesn't go through there right. And yeah. this is the biggest problem that we see today. When I learned it, the body was 80% water. It was actually tested that way, scientifically validated. We used to put people in, uh, in actual, um, uh, we, would eat, we would put them in a water tank to have displacement of water. Today, the average person is somewhere between 65 and 75%, which means that the entire population is chronically dehydrated. That's why we're getting tighter, shorter, necks are going out. And this is why our, our, our nerve issues and our digestion issues are on. This is why we the supplements that we, that we put out, we do not believe in long-term supplementation. We used to prescribe six, seven, $800 worth of supplements per course of treatment per month for people in the clinic. I no longer subscribe to that, that belief at all. I did that for a decade. I ran 50,000 extra tests on people to prove that it wasn't right. 
what we did is took the very core minimums that help your body work, and that's in our fascial foundation and our fascial flow. It rebuilds the fascial tissue. It uh, exfoliates the small intestine, which helps up here, rehydrates the body, balances the hormones, and of course, our Power Perk 30 reduces the inflammation so you can move. Supplements are not a cure. Movement is a cure. Supplements help you move better. Mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Great, great question. question. Great Thank question. you for sharing. Mm -hmm. And before we get to the next one, um, we are look. We have opportunities to join our team right now in Mexico to stay with us, work with us. If you've been going through our programs and you resonate with our mission, you resonate with our core values, and you want to join our team, mm -hmm. and you have the skill sets that align with the positions that we're that are open right now, you can head to our website and you can click on the link. I think it's join our team yeah, join and you can see the different positions. We have social media. We're going to be looking for an executive assistant, an event producer, videographers, lots of people to help us. Uh, we've expanded to about 2 million reach around the world in the last 12 months, and that's going to require some support. So Thank you. And also uh, just to note uh, once again, uh, we're making this more clear, but we are a foundation. Nobody here gets a salary. So some, some of these positions are, are set out at six months positions. Uh, think of it as doctors uh, without borders. It's like, you can come here, you can, you can work, you can find your uh, help build this cause as we're starting to go worldwide this year. And, and if you wanna stay and if everything, and, uh, everything works out, then you can stay. But we, we have set this up this way particularly because if we were to grow a big corporate structure, it would take us dozens of years to get around the world. This way we can move quickly and fastly. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so next one we've got is Rose. Oh. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Nice to Hi, see Rose. you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. I'm... I'm just going through a process of releasing a lot in my body. I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and I'm wondering uh, what I'm trying to work on is I sometimes feel a split in the nervous system. So right side feels numb or left side feels numb. And I'm noticing, you know, that's where a lot of the issues are coming from, like the right and left hemispheres are not communicating well with one another. Rose, what's your birthday? I'm February 22nd, 1982. Okay. So you're, so anyways, you're having a little issue on your right hip too and your right shoulder, maybe? Uh, yes. Okay. So you're, yeah. So these guys here, they're, they're with you in there. Um, fibromyalgia is, is not a diagnosis. Okay. It's a symptom. And so what we've done is we've taken, it's not a disease. What it is, is we don't know what it is. So we call it a syndrome or a symptom. It's they test points of pain. So Great. the body itself, the muscle skeletal nervous system has a, a two out of 10 pain, anything over two out of 10 pain in our world, we consider to be fascia. Okay. And the meridians. And so what that is, is that as, we, as, as we've been moving, these blockages that we're removing, these layers of fascia are starting to, to, um, to move like this, and it causes uh, <clears throat> friction, which breaks up the layers. It's the layers of fascia that are having the problem. Usually with fibromyalgia, um, the, just the fascial maneuvers, with this, and you can do anything with those supplements, but supplements are gonna help you get there faster. Take the supplements that we have on our supplement bundle, what they'll do is start opening up the layers. The power curve uh, at the cellular level releases all, at the cellular level releases fascial tissue. It's scientifically proven. It's patented. And in there, then hydration starts to come in. So then when you move fascial maneuvers, everything starts to move through. Fibromyalgia usually doesn't last more than three months in this program. And for, for quite often, most people get it done in a month. Um, but what comes up with the release of it is fibromyalgia comes up with early childhood trauma and often, quite often, sexual trauma. So if there, this is one thing that I want you to be very cognizant of about, and this is why our 28-day reset is important, because it helps you journal through, work through, and reflect off of other people who have gone through the situation. It's the most effective trauma release that we've ever had. And the right left hemispheres, um, if you if you knew the rest of your astrology, I bet you you got some Gemini in you. Yeah. 
Say that again. If you knew the rest of your astrology, you probably got some Gemini in you. It's just your brain's going back and forth. What you're doing, you're switching from masculine protect, feminine nurture, masculine protect, feminine nurture. This is what's going on. It's been going on since, since the abuse or the trauma that's triggered this, okay? So just settle into it. There's a big community inside of our community portal. We find that the people that, that actually journal publicly have tenfold results. The ones who do it privately, they get results, but not nearly close. So get into the 28D reset. Mm -hmm. On our website, we now have, we just put up one day, three day, seven day, and then 28 day reset. Really easy to follow at humagraj.net. And if you have any other questions along the way, put it into the journal. You'll find literally thousands of people that have gone through that and no longer identify with those symptoms. Mm -hmm. And with the childhood trauma also, it doesn't mean it's a big trauma. It could be that your mother left you at school and forgot to pick you up. And that was your trauma under you know the age of five or six. So sometimes when we say trauma, it doesn't mean it's something massive and but it could be something small. So, and the journaling. Yeah. Helps. And I think I'm just ready to release it all. And I mean, that's why I'm even attracted to what you guys are doing and the right and left hemisphere speaks very, um, poignantly to my situation. I'm raising my boys on my own. So I'm very much mother and father right. and bringing both sides of that and trying to fill you know, the cups, right? So, and you're also, you. your, your astrology as you black and white up and down as you wanting to, you know, you get in and run away at the same time. So, so uh, yeah, just good job, Rose. Yeah, you're doing it. You're doing everything right. You're in the right place, the right time. This will go away. Okay. Awesome. I'm so thankful. Thank you. Great question. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Okay. So, and by the way, um, we have installed, we're getting uh, sometimes up to a couple thousand messages a day on our Instagram, never mind our apps. We've installed a, in the Instagram a little routing tree that actually can get you to programs like how to become a coach, how to heal yourself. If you're going in there and you just want to find out, do me a favor, just put a letter. Don't put a, don't put a whole sentence high and all that because then we, we know not to read it because you can actually route through and you can find uh, programs for ADHD, you can find programs for, you know, your hips, or you can find issues like uh, reset programs and stuff like that on there inside of our Instagram. Uh, I know, I'm, I know we're going to get blown up right now. So, and also we are answering questions right now, all within the same day. So uh, amazingly enough, we got a great team of people. Everybody's starting to contribute. Awesome. So next question was from Rhonda Meyer. Hi, Rhonda Meyer. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Hello, everyone. I um, came across you all by accident, and I'm so excited that I did. Um, I love it. There's we were... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I have been for the past year and a half, just been dealing with pain, like chronic pain, and, you know, going down all the rabbit holes of Reddit and seeing all the different doctors and um, just coming up with frustration, uh, in general. And, um, I'm 44. I am, um, January 30th, uh, 1979 and a Gemini rising. So, um, uh, all the things that you're saying, I can really, um, um, accept and relate to. I, um, the pain is in general in my hips, um, my low back sacrum, I have, um, constant like knots everywhere. Um, and, uh, in my spine, um, like it feels like my ribs are like compressed. Um, and it's, it's been, um, just really a struggle. I bought like every device, um, I have chiropractic, physical therapy, aquatic therapy, you know, the whole, run the whole gamut. And um, I have um, just finally like, okay, what do I have to address that's, that is else, you know? So okay. I'm so glad that I have found you. How and long have you been practicing? Um, this was my first time. Okay, and well, good news for you. This is all going to go away pretty soon. But what the hips were, were struggling with how you move forward in your life. 
Yeah. And, and you were looking for direction. So yes, yeah, that's it. You're found it. So um, actually, you're not going to have to worry about that too much long. That Gemini brain lets you see um, both sides of everything. And uh, you have seen both sides of it. You've seen what it feels like to be stuck. So now let's take the other side with your hair and see what it feels like to move forward. So Thank yeah, you. literally just do what you're, you're here now. You're in the right spot. I think you'll find uh, that you move forward. Now, Aquarius is um, quite often will, will disconnect from the emotions in their body to power through life. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. that's the strength. And so now you're just, it's, all it is is accumulation of things that you did to your body. And now your body says, stop. Not yeah. And uh, yeah. you're on the right path. Go through the reset, start on the one day reset. You'll be surprised. Make sure every single person on this call, 100% of the people that we test, we look at, that we've been around are chronically dehydrated right now in the fascial tissue, unless you're actively, actively doing something about it. You can't avoid the chemicals that we got in our environment today. And those chemicals are depleting our body silica. When our silica is not there, we don't absorb vitamins or minerals, which means we don't properly process water and we don't properly uh, process uh, vitamins. So this is happening across. So you're in the in good path. Just keep going where you're going. Glad to have you here. Yeah, thank you. The message sits so well with my soul. A lot of these things that I've tried, um, I just don't, it doesn't feel, uh, I don't feel the connection. And so I have. Um, the other thing I just wanted to mention, is, especially since there's so many people on, um, I'm, I've am i been also for the past four years on a journey to sobriety and recovery. So um, those things are all connected, I know. And yeah, um, right. it it is... Um, You're getting the natural drug now. Yeah. And there, yeah. we do not believe in addiction. We, we, we are, this is a fluid adaptive biological computing system. When it needs something, it will get it. It will tell your brain and your perception, anything feels good. If you have no water and you're in the middle of the ocean, uh, eating fish eyes and fish guts are gonna seem very logical to get water. You're gonna see, mm, that's really good. When you get on land and you got water again, you're gonna go, holy crap, I can't believe I did that. And that's actually a true case study, by the way. So addiction in our world doesn't exist. Just give your body better drugs. The better drugs yeah. are inside of you. And by the way, yeah. everybody, Drugs don't make you high. It's our reaction to the drugs that make us high. And those reactions, yeah. if our body produces those chemicals through a drug, it can produce a chemical through a touch, a feel, a motion, a breath, a thought. A thought. Yeah. yeah. I'll see you on the fourth. Uh, that'll be actually my 18 month sobriety. So awesome. <laughs> thank you. Months you. Months. Yeah. Appreciate That's you great. Sharing. Appreciate you. And the next question. It's actually going to go to somebody we've done a podcast with uh, uh, named Raw of Earth. Uh, give me one second. Go here. watch that podcast, guys. It's on our YouTube. Yes. Hey, Raw. Raw. Hey, listen, I just got to say, I've only known you with a beard. You are, uh -huh. you are, you are, you look way younger and super handsome. Man. I have to share that I did watch the beard removal and I was like, dang, looking good. Yeah. So Rod, do you want to give some context to what you were, your beard, what you were doing there? You were growing it. I was, uh, well, it started by, I just wanted to know what I looked like as a human <laughs> without grooming. And I didn't really realize that you can just grow out your facial hair without cutting it. Like I, there was a point in my life where I had this realization and I gave myself permission to just quit grooming my face. And so for five years, I didn't shave. My mustache was actually growing down close to my chin. And um, every time I looked in the mirror, it, it was just nice to see my authentic self. And also I had noticed that I actually did become more magnetic to, to people. Um, I, I think that I would be less attractive and I might've been less, uh, I don't know, attractive to a to a degree but it still drew people in i think the authenticity is is hard to ignore you also well, i have to say your countenance is gorgeous and it glows and so yes it is more attractive because you you have a an aura about you so that yeah. is true very, yeah and very... it drew us in <laughs> yeah but i always knew that i was still you know i look like this but but for the last five years everybody else kind of forgot <laughs> so so Rob, everybody's like wow um uh, so raw why don't you give a like a 30 second introduction who you are and then feel free to ask your question 
Okay. Uh, right now, the name that I'm going by is Raw of Earth. I have been with, you know, within the realm of the human condition, studying it, working professionally with other human beings on a variety of topics for the last 20 years. My interests have been, you know, I own gyms for 10 years. I've worked with yoga and, and breath work and kriyas and meditation for a long time. I'm in the realm of consciousness. Right now, I'm getting back to one of my original passions, which is psychology and, and mindset and psyche. And so I've got a program where I take people through actual exercises where we, we tinker with the mindset, just like you guys are, are doing the same thing with the fascia and the body. All of that's connected up into the mindset and working with the programs that we have in the mind and doing the work to untangle those programs so that we can access the the guide to our system and we can determine how we react to certain things in an, in our environment just like gary said it's it's our reaction to the events he was talking about drugs right it's our reaction to the drugs it's our response to the environment that essentially gives us our experience of life and so if we can if we can monitor monitor and work with and tune that reaction and that response then we can actually shift our life experience. Mm -hmm. So my question is, uh, I've heard Gary talk about this, and I'm just wondering if we can get a little bit more elaboration on how, Gary, you said the, the body is more biohydraulic than biomechanical. So I just wanted some clarification because the muscles are contracting. Right. So there, there has to be some sort of mechanical aspect to move the muscle. So how could you elaborate on a, on a little bit, bit about how that hydraulic component works? Sure. Fair enough. When you contract the muscle is when you stimulate it. You can do this by putting needles in and then and then electro, putting electrolysis on it. Muscles only have one contraction. And they and as soon as they, they let go, they don't have form. They can only go one way. So that's a very knee jerk reaction. It takes a second and a half for a nerve signal to go from the foot up the muscle skeletal chain through the humiculus and cerebellum back down to the foot for motor control. So my question was, when I got into clinical practice was, um, they, uh, so if that's true, we don't, how do we move when we step on glass? So the answer is a ganglion reflex or a doctor hits your knee. But I said, that can't be because I step on glass, I don't go boing, I go, intelligently to safety. So that means that before my brain even knew that there was a there was a threat to it, my entire body is moving to safety, coordinating all the activities and thinking about it at the same time. And then my brain gets a notification later. So that means that by default, muscles don't move the body. And because we can't move our feet, if we step on a rock and undulate, we can't adjust fast enough. So what do muscles do? They stabilize the movement. So if we're moving fluidly and we miss a curb, like let's say we're walking and we miss a curb, then what happens is we step off and whoop, whoop, goes all like that. You know that we're a biotensegris. We know that the bones are basal. So when the bones touch, they create a shock. Boom. So your knee, if you don't, if you miss a curb, your knee hits and goes, your ankles go boom like that. So the shock is that involuntary reaction. That's what happens when you, when you do that. So movement is fluid and from the fascia, muscles stabilize the actual movement of the body because if i have an imbalance in my hip is off and i'm moving right like this then i'm going to have to use a muscle over here to stabilize it because one's tight over here so this one pulls tight this one has to actually contract in order for me to move so what we're saying is that is that as we move through as we move through space and time muscles also they're they're called dumb contraction in our world they just have that in jerk, that voluntary. So how does the body stabilize that? And then one step further is that none of the bones in the body touch except for the rib cage, the teeth, and the ears. So the bones can't be structure because if the structure fails, the bones touch. And it's not that little piece of meniscus in your knee that's holding it apart. So it's sitting like this. So that's the fascia. So all of the intelligence, all the movements in the fascia, the fascia understands the outside world. We have a video where we showed us walking on an organic surface. 
standing and the standing on non-organic non surface and the body tightens up on a non-organic surface. So the fascia knows where we are and it adjusts the brain, the muscles, the bones and the nerves, all that to, to stand and move through that environment. This is something that we teach in the 28 day reset. If you go in there to the 28 day reset, this is a pretty broad concept because we're saying everything, we're saying that everything that we knew about the body is slightly different. It's not exactly the way it was that we thought it was, but that's what makes the fascial maneuvers work so well. So in the 28 day reset, we actually teach the mechanics of this with little exercises and thought processes so you can go through it. And that's all at 28 day re reset. You can go through that and learn it and then touch your body and figure it out. Does that help answer? Kind of. The visualization of you talking about a body standing and how all the different parts of us are going to be adjusting through pressure to maintain our balance as opposed oh. to just contracting. I got that one more thing. I got one more thing. Sorry. I, uh, so mechanics is this. I take a string from here and a string from here and a wench. That's mechanics. Okay. This when I have three pieces of salami inside the fascia there and three pieces there are called muscles. Okay. Three biceps, three, uh, three parts of the tricep. When blood, when I use a muscle, blood rushes in and contracts. This is a limited, this has a contraction, this has a maximum capacity. And when the blood contracts, that muscle inside goes from, from a little tiny sausage to a big one like this when blood goes in, that forces this whole area to contract. That's the actual movement and the muscle stabilizing the movement. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You have to give the context around it, Rob, because if we don't think of the body, if we don't look at the body uh, from a new perspective, taking one question and isolating it doesn't make sense. So we have to say, that our body is a balloon, we're biotensibris. Inside of that, we have, we're made of silica, we're a liquid crystal. And that crystal is supposed to be liquid, but if it's dehydrated, it's not liquid anymore. It's getting tighter and tighter. That's our problem. That's what the dehydration we starts to restrict our movement. And inside of there, you've got bones, muscles, organs, nerves, tendons, and glands, but none of the bones touch, so they're floating in there. So bones aren't structure. What are they? You'll find out in the 28-day reset. Just guys go through it. <laughs> Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. Awesome. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you, Ralph. Great question. question. Fabulous to see I, you. I, I could just see your, your wheels are turning. Yeah, yeah. we could talk later. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank and, you, Ralph. And Rob, put your Instagram handle in the chat so people can follow you if they want to learn more about what you do. Yeah. And uh, he's awesome. They're we're, awesome, the two of them. We're going to uh, close it off from there. So uh, we are launching t-shirts in the next couple of weeks here, so you will be able to purchase them on our website, so stay tuned for that. Our next class is on February 4th, and we look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you so much for being here and participating, bringing your questions and moving with us today. We look forward to the next one. Appreciate you all. Thanks, everybody. Bye.